Is it true that engineering majors have no other chance to meet other major students because they're always with their own major? <laughs> engineering exams. But what I've heard a couple of days ago from the engineering town hall, I don't know how to say. I don't, I don't know how to answer that. Ah, 근데 진짜 편집당 편집 될줄 알았던 장면들 다 썼더라. 조심해야겠어. 무서운 사람인데. Can you please clap for me? Can you clap on your right side? On my right side? Yeah. It's here. Mm. Can you do it on your left side? <laughs> Perfect! Okay. So first, what's your name, nationality, class, uh, and major? My name is Yajin. I'm from Korea, class of 2021, a rising senior, studying electrical engineering with a minor in computer science. Why did you choose your major? I had a broad scope of interest from software development, robotics, telecommunications, electronic circuits, and blah blah blah. I was interested in a lot of things in the technology side, but then at the time making my decision for my major, I had three options, computer engineering, electrical engineering, and computer science, but I thought that electrical engineering would open up the most options in the future and I ended up choosing electrical engineering over the other two options. What does the engineering curriculum look like? So what I did from, from my freshman year is completely different from what the incoming freshmen were going to take because they completely changed the curriculum from the coming year. But what I did was for my freshman year, I took foundations of science and all those fundamental math courses. And then for my sophomore year in fall, I went to Shanghai for my study away semester. And when I came back, I started taking the common engineering courses, which is common for all the engineering majors, including civil, mechanical, electrical, and computer. And then in my junior fall, I continued with those common engineering courses and junior spring I went to New York taking um, electives in engineering and computer science as well. In my next year, in my senior year, I will be taking more electives. Well, I still have some major required courses left for even for my senior year, that's how engineering curriculum looks like. But what I've heard a couple of days ago from the engineering town hall, they cancelled foundations of science 3 and 4 for incoming fresh incoming engineers so they only need to take one and two and then they jump right into the common engineering courses in their sophomore fall some selective students with high gpas will be able to stay in new york for a year which one was your favorite course and why i think i have a couple if you don't mind me saying a lot sure i really like programming for engineers which is the first course that i took in my freshman year i really liked how the professor structured the class so we learned the basics in a very structured and organized way i really like data structures and algorithms i think i learned a lot about how to structure things um and to structure structure <laughs> E course, 다시 할게. I also liked data structures and algorithms. It's a computer engineering elective, but it covers the programming realm of it. We learned how to code with organized logic algorithm and also the structures of it. Okay, it make, doesn't make sense. But anyway, I really like the course. And another part of my favorite area was circuits and electronics. The topics were interesting. We learned basically the fundamentals of circuits and the components of it. We did some interesting things in the labs, so I think I really like the lab component of it. Well, what was one of the most memorable assignment? I remember for programming for engineers, it was my freshman fall, so it was the very first semester in my college. We learned how to program in the language called C++, but what we did for final project was actually using C Sharp which is an, a more advanced language. So basically, we were starting the project from scratch. We were given a physical device. For our team, we chose Oculus Rift, the 3D VR simulation device. We made a 3D VR driving simulation game. I was in a team of three, and we all didn't know how to do anything, but we ended up making the thing work. It was like a nice thrill when it finally worked, and I think it was a very interesting and something that's worth working for. And then another project that I can think of, we built a electrocardiogram device for our electronics class. So I saw my heart pulse being graphed on the device, and that was really cool. We did all the soldering, we, we made a PCB design from the scratch, and when the actual PCB arrived from the company that we've ordered from. I still remember the thrill that I had when I saw what I made in the computer screen was printed as a hardware device. Uh, what are engineer exams like? 
We definitely have a lot of quizzes, a lot of exams, a lot of assignments, a lot of team projects, a lot of labs for sure. Exams are like, we have a lot of lectures, meaning we do learn a lot of theories. And in the exams, they do ask for the theories, but since it is an engineering major, they usually ask for application of those theories that we've learned from. It's definitely a long answer question when they ask something. For instance, for programming related courses, we had to think of the logic that can do the prompt that the professor asked us to do. And for telecommunications or circuits electronics class, we were given like a circuit and we had to predict how things will behave where he gives us like a faulty circuit and we had to fix some components to do that. Exam is not the only thing that evaluates one's academic accomplishments in engineering curriculum because lab component usually takes up like a huge part in the grade and in your time as well. Like you need to spend three hours in the lab every week for each course meaning it's it's a lot of commitment and it takes a, takes up a lot of time and effort and it does take up a lot of component in the grading system and lab is not something that you can do everything in one second like you need to constantly work on it like every week so you need to study for the exam you need to do your homework you need to um, work on the project with your partner so it's everything that counts it's not just the exam that you only need to work on can you elaborate more on what a lab session is like what do you do in the lab session in the lectures you learn the principles you learn the you learn the theories you take the lectures from the professors in the lab you use what you've learned in class to make something happen for instance when you, if you learn like circuit components in the lectures, you go to the lab and you actually build the circuit to see that it actually works in real life. On a scale from 1 to 10, how hardcore is the engineering curriculum? It starts like 5, 6, but then I think it rises to, I don't know, 8, 9, maybe? It's definitely doable, but I, I guess it depends on people's priorities. Is it true that engineering majors have no other chance to meet other major students because they're always with their own major? <laughs> Not really. I, I don't think that's like a complete truth because like I do have friends outside the engineering group, but I I can't deny that my core friend group are com are all engineers. You're watching Maggie Ann's channel. In what ways does the school support or provides resources to engineer majors? One thing that I can think of is engineering design studio. It's like a studio where all the engineers plus maybe other um, majors as well are welcome to come over and use the resources that are provided there, build up some projects on their own, work on their own side projects, or even like some major projects for competitions. It's where everyone goes to work, mingle, and to have fun. It even has like a small kitchen there where you can have some free food. It's a really cute place. And on top of that, in terms of like opportunities, a lot of engineering students reach out to professors to work on some interesting projects that professors have. Professors work on various research projects, if that makes sense. So from bioengineering to mechanical and civil, you can reach out to professors and they're usually very welcome. They might even give some context for off-campus opportunities if they know anyone they're they're very nice they're very approachable and you can definitely find internships on campus that might be related to your own interests you can also ask for funding if you want to go for conferences abroad and yeah there are definitely a lot of opportunities if you are committed enough to look for them how do you find the internships it's usually posted on handshake the nyu handshake portal what is handshake <laughs> it's like a what else am I got busy? It's a it's a it's an app. It's a school app. Is it like what school LinkedIn kind of thing? Okay, no, but it's it's not just internal. Yeah. They, like a so lot of employees, employees, yeah, employees post, and post jobs. Oh. It's another version of LinkedIn where you can find all sources, all kinds of opportunities on campus, off campus, remote, maybe even for like jobs. What kind of school activities are relevant to an engineer major? I don't think I can just pick one. Engineering in general is like a really broad discipline. It really depends on where your interests lie. For instance, some of my friends worked on capture the flag competitions where it's basically a cybersecurity related stuff when other group of my friends worked on bio related research project. So it really depends on which realm you're really interested in. There are a lot of SIGs on campus, like CyberHash for instance, they deal with the cybersecurity stuff. We STEM deals with education, raising awareness, Awareness, community related stuff with a high school student workshop and stuff like that. iGEM, they also do some bio related research. There are a lot of labs that professors are in charge of that you can reach out to and do a lot of research or studying and exploration. Do you have any advice in freshmen who are interested in majoring in engineering? Prep for the math placement test because that opens up a lot of chances. 
Like, you can definitely start with FOSS 1 and 2 in your spring semester, that doesn't harm anything. But if you start it early, that also means that you have more space for more stuff. For instance, what I got in return was a study away semester in Shanghai, which I really, really liked. And for the incoming freshmen, they might get one more additional study away in New York. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure about that, but maybe. Even if that's not the case, you still have more space for general electives or engineering electives that you can take. And I think that's a really good chance for students to be aware of before coming to college. One of the big concerns that I had in my sophomore, junior year was, am I on the right track? Did I make a right choice in my major? I sometimes regretted that I didn't think about it before coming to uni. But now that I think about it, there is no need to do that. Like as long as you open up yourself to all the options that are given to you in NYU AD, it doesn't really matter whether you already chose what you want to go for or not. If you were to become a freshman again, would you still choose engineering as your major? Yes. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Okay, perfect! <laughs>